Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me first of all uh, recognize all of you for finding time to be with us. And also in particular, my, my ambassador, the Norwegian ambassador to Zambia, is, who is here. As you know, I'm now an extended family member of the Norwegians. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I'm, we're glad to be here. Uh, I think uh, a lot has been said about uh, uh, about the developing world, and I think uh, Africa, uh, you know, in particular. But I think it's good to, first of all, hear it from the horse's mouth. Because I think some of the aspirations which uh, have been mentioned uh, to see how uh, uh, the deployment of uh, financial assets, uh, you know, uh, are going to help the, uh, the infrastructure development, and how that uh, would change lives, can be a bit abstract. Obviously, uh, although you have been reading that uh, 100 years ago you were like us and it has been presented, there is this uh, you know, uh, uh, literature amnesia where you cannot always remember. But I can stand here as a, a living example uh, of all those things from uh, 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 you know, uh, kerosene uh, you know, uh, to uh, an electric bulb, uh, and I can also leave, stand here to talk about our continuing difficulties because of lack of uh, infrastructure and energy in particular. Uh, as you may have heard, I think the former president of uh, uh, Turkey once said uh, that electricity is civilization. Because I can't imagine uh, a situation where it can be different uh, you know, uh, in describing what electricity is, uh, you know, uh, without, uh, without uh, uh, you know, uh, going through uh, what everybody else goes out there. Uh, some of us in this room, we, once in a year, we, we, we stand to talk about the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the dark hour, you know, uh, when we switch off lights. But we usually we do that having finished our braai and uh, with, uh, with drinks which are already very cool. But that's the normal life for the majority of the people. Uh, you, you know, and I think those, in the end, they are the matters that uh, we need to address. And I think we can only do so if there is a concerted effort uh, by the, the international community in addressing these issues. I think they are achievable uh, from some of the graphs we saw. Uh, from uh, you know, Finnmark, uh, what they did in 50 years, and uh, also from, from, your, own, uh, from, uh, from your, own, your own history. So uh, I also want to just show that the, the, uh, you know, the, the Norwegian uh, 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 you know, a project uh, on how you will assist us in uh, getting out of this uh, and where you do it is valid. Uh, and you know how you you know you want to uh, bring your your technology to the you know to the benefit of the world, uh, and how uh, uh, how you looking at uh, you know at uh, uh, putting more emphasis on the private sector are again valid, because the amount of aid which have poured in the developing countries, yes, is not commensurate with development which has happened. I think the linking uh, the missing link has been how we transform. The, uh, the developing world private sector into a contributing uh, uh, you know, you know, sector. Uh, I'm from Zambia. You know, we are quite stuck in the middle. Uh, we, we are now being a bit positive. We say we are land-linked. Uh, <laughs> so and we have eight neighbors. So when you come to Zambia, you have come to eight other countries. Uh, there is no, I'm not modeling with my, with Juma, my uh, Ugandan press, uh, friend. But yes, we are, uh, you know, we are uh, coming to eight other countries with quite some diverse uh, characteristics. The Portuguese, uh, you know, uh, east, uh, you know, you know, east and the, uh, and west, the in the the Belgians, uh, you know, e e it's a mixed grill. But I think we have stayed there, at Zambia, to be able to. Uh, for, be for better or for worse, to see how positively we can uh, uh, drive that region. This company was incorporated in 2001. Basically, it was a, a result of the privatization of our mining industry. Uh, we commenced operations in January 2002. 
at the time, we had the three shareholders, ESCOM Enterprises out of South Africa, and two Zambian entities. Uh, obviously, uh, over, over the way, uh, uh, you know, like uh, not all marriages work. Uh, you know, it, it was necessary that we, uh, you know, we, uh, we change uh, uh, the partnerships. Agua Imara uh, was really a natural choice. We were happy with what, uh, you know, with what they do. Uh, we were happy with the, uh, the Norwegian story. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, they, they joined, you know, they came in Tulu in 2011 uh, with, I think, very, uh, uh, you know, uh, reconciled aspirations. Uh, we were looking for a serious investor uh, who would want to, you know, can, uh, be, uh, can keep the eye on the boy in driving the, uh, the development forward, and we're happy with what they, what, uh, they are done through SN Power. They were able to show us the good things they have done, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, it, it just gelled with our, the, the, uh, the Wonder God, the, the Zambian component, which was also trying to see how best they can, uh, they can uh, participate in the development agenda of our, of, of our energy sector. We've been in bed since that time. There have been no quarrels, and, uh, you know, and everything is going on well. The vision, I think we, uh, we, we want to increase uh, uh, our generating uh, capacity from 56 megawatts to 500 megawatts by year 2020. It's, uh, it's, it's a steep climb, but what is impossible with Norwegians? You know, so, so we, with them uh, being on our side, I think these are achievable targets. And, uh, uh, and I think uh, because for, for the Zambian component, there are no alternatives. Uh, the mission with the coming in of uh, Agua Imara basically is to become a supplier of outstanding stature. And obviously positively driving the, energy, uh, uh, the national energy sector in Zambia and in the region. Uh, you heard from uh, uh, Henry uh, uh, how he talked about, uh, you know, how Zambia has been going. Time has come for Zambia to be able to have a, more, uh, a mix of investors. Uh, and I think in, in being able to uh, provide a good reference point uh, on how investors should behave, in, you know, in, in these markets, you can't uh, go wrong with uh, the Norwegians. So we believe. Uh, the company is a key asset. Uh, we have two power stations, 131 megawatts and one doing 25. Uh, the base is for the 56. Uh, uh, one transmission line tying the two, the two assets. Two lines coming to the national grid. And the and most important resource, we sit on two dams with a combined storage of nine, nearly 970 uh, million cubic, uh, in, in cubic meters. Uh, at the time that uh, of privatization, we are only doing uh, uh, five megawatts at takeover. Uh, we are now on 56. Uh, so there is no lack of enthusiasm for growth. I, I, I mean, I think the, uh, you know, the, uh, the missing thing is the sort of thing that we have heard today. Uh, it has been the finance. We are stuck right in the center of Zambia, and, and as you know, uh, those of you who are familiar with Zambia, we have got our generating assets in the southern part of the country. Our key load centers on the Copper Belt are in the north. Uh, so our development, which will happen in the central part of Zambia, will be critical in stabilizing the, uh, uh, you know, the network. Uh, and so uh, the, the 500 megawatt, when it comes, it not only be for the good of uh, us, you know, uh, uh, in, in LHPC, it will be good for Zambia in ensuring that uh, we strengthen our, our, our network. We have uh, doubled our, our, our generation from about 200 uh, gigawatt hours when we started to just over 400 uh, gigawatt hours in the last uh, 10 years. There have been some achievements. I think uh, we have survived at uh, the first IPP uh, in Southern Africa. And, uh, and with that, we have uh, uh, f you know, facilitated in, uh, uh, in ensuring that Zambia's uh, you know, sector reform uh, you know, actually uh, you know, takes place. We've been the guinea pigs of a, a, a new regulatory system, 
changing the water, the, you know, the Water Act, uh, pushing for uh, improvement in, uh, in governance issues. Uh, so uh, Zambia is now ready for, uh, you know, for that. <laughs> we've we've uh, been working on strong HSC, and with uh, the coming in of Agua Imara, that is actually being strengthened and uh, with a lot of positive results. Uh, and we've also tried to run an operation uh, to, to some best uh, performance figures. Uh, but, uh, plant availabilities are high, load factors are good, uh, uh, forced outages and uh, uh, plant outages are within uh, what you'd expect. But we also made some very good social achievements. Uh, at the time that uh, we, uh, we, we started operating, we found about 160 families who didn't know where, where the next meal was coming from. We took these people uh, you know, uh, over. Uh, within three years, we had transformed them into uh, small and medium-scale uh, farmers. By just giving them the, uh, the inputs at the right time, uh, finding them a market for them for their produce, and uh, they are now uh, uh, on their own. Uh, we have rectified two schools uh, near us. Uh, we've expanded the classroom uh, uh, space, uh, given accommodation to teachers. And uh, when we do the upgrade jobs, as we've done, we try to do most of the activities of the critical paths and create jobs uh, you know, around us. Uh, and uh, again, trying to work with uh, with the, those people in how to look, you know, to look after their money, uh, so that th there is a, a continuing uh, a continuing benefit uh, beyond the, uh, the you know the, you know the, uh, you know the construction. Uh, we source most of the building material from uh, from uh, from the area instead of tracking a crushed stone. Uh, the people crush it. You know these things. If you see them on the, uh, on the side of the road crushing stone, uh, you would say, yes, the, it's not a good thing to do, but the options are, are waste. Uh, and also we have supported the, uh, you know, the uh, clinics, uh, with provisional medicine, diagnostic uh, you know, uh, instruments, and uh, we've opened up roads. And again, with the increase in generation, our system stability has also improved. That's how things used to be before, and that's how things are now at Mungush Power Station after installing of a new 10.5 megawatt machine, and at Lunsemba Power Station after installing of a, a new 6 megawatt machine, we extended it, that's how it looks now. But the future is actually what is uh, critical and important for us, uh, you, you know, uh, and that is why, uh, 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 you know, I'm privileged to attend this, uh, you know, this conference to interact with some people I've interacted with, and basically to strengthen the, uh, you know, the Norwegian story that uh, things can be done. Uh, our strategic plan is anchored on a very, very uh, uh, mature assets. As I said, we want to move from 56 to 500 uh, uh, in, in megawatts. We are in uh, uh, three catchments: the Lunsemfa catchment the Mulungushi catchment, and we've got the Mwomboshi catchment. The existing plants are on the uh, uh, Mulungushi and Lusemfa catchments. They were, uh, in, uh, the assets were installed uh, to, to, you know, to just meet the demand of a mining uh, a, a company which uh, installed them from the 1920s, uh, and a lot of capacity was, uh, in, in, in was left. The work we are doing with Agua Imara is to optimize uh, you know, these assets in ensuring that uh, uh, you know, they, uh, they give their full uh, 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 potential uh, you know, to, uh, in contribution to Zambia's uh, electricity sector. Yeah, you can, uh, this, this, uh, this uh, uh, reservoir extends some 32 kilometers. Uh, this one extends, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, uh, about 45. That's how this, the, 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 the Muchinga hydropower project, which will be about 330 megawatts if we consider peak, uh, will utilize, uh, I'm looking for, 
it, it, it has failed to come on. But, you know, but basically what it is, uh, we, we are looking at uh, uh, transferring the, uh, the river course, uh, uh, you know, on the Lone Semfa to a nearby river, the Mukush River, and then dropping uh, into the Luano Valley. Uh, you can see from that sketch on top, uh, we pick from the existing uh, reservoir, uh, you know, we, we drop it at our diversion dam, we, we canal and tunnel it, uh, join it into another river course, and we drop down. Uh, you know, that will give us, uh, you know, uh, about 180 me uh, megawatts of uh, base, but we, w we think we should be preparing for a time when uh, the, the picking uh, uh, generation, uh, you know, will have a good market. Uh, in Zambia as well as, uh, uh, you know, as in the region. And then on the other one, uh, we are going to pick from the existing Mulungushi Dam. Uh, we'll pick the western uh, capacity on the Mwamboshi and the Lomba rivers. Uh, uh, you know, then develop as a, 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 a bottom uh, a capacity on the Mulungushi power, power, power scheme. Uh, then we'll turn on that to the final to, to the final end, uh, where the, the remaining uh, nearly 200 megawatts uh, combined should come from. But in the case for Zambia's investment, yes, I mean there are only 25 percent Zambians connected to electricity, and essentially 85, 75 percent of Zambians are bystanders in the in the economic enterprise. There is no way you can contribute without electricity. Uh, we've only got 2,000 megawatts of total installed capacity. We have potential in excess of 6,000. The mining industry consumes more than 50% of, and it's increasing. They are projecting to increase the generation from uh, uh, 750,000 tons to 1.5 million tons of finished copper. Uh, it is our major, it is our major, uh, 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 you know, and of foreign exchange, uh, but uh, as you heard again from, uh, from you know, from, from Henry, uh, that doesn't translate into into uh, uh, into poverty alleviation because of the ownership structure. Uh, we are interconnected uh, 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 within SAP uh, to, to Southern African uh, system. We are very peaceful as Zambians. We, we rarely uh, uh, you know, uh, cause any problems, but we do change presidents once in a while. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we are centrally recorded within SADAC. <laughs> we, we have abundant re energy resources. Uh, the government has also been able to work very hard, I think, in the energy sector in, in, in providing a more enabling environment, both structurally, regulatory, uh, as well as physical, uh, you know, in the physical area. Our economy is growing fast, but it, we just want it to be more inclusive. Uh, we have a very young and dynamic uh, you know, population, and uh, the, the literacy rate in Zambia is pretty high. We are connected to the DRC, uh, to Namibia, uh, Zimbabwe. We are building uh, uh, extensions into Tanzania. Plans are underway into Angola. Uh, and in two Malawi and uh, you know and, and and Mozambique, you come to Zambia, you come to Sadak. Yes, uh, you know we, we we are very resource rich, as I have indicated. A lot of mineral wealth. We control forty percent of the Sadak water. The land is fertile. A young population willing to work, but very high poverty levels. Uh, you know, high unemployment and uh, uh, the resource just remaining, uh, you know, in the ground. The main reason, basically, is, is lack of financial resources to change these resources into, into wealth and severe shortage of, uh, of electricity. I think for Zambia, we have no alternatives but to concentrate on the, improve, on the development of our energy resource in order for the, uh, in order for the, for the country to move. Uh, you know, any, any other aspect of life you want to talk about? I mean, in the village, a Zambian woman spends six hours doing 
uh, the sort of things that Norwegian woman would do in 30 minutes. Drawing water, firewood, uh, you know, boiling, the, everything. Uh, for as long as we have people who cannot contribute uh, productively, it's, uh, to me, it's a no game. So yes, uh, provision of financial resources uh, in, in, is critical for us. Uh, uh, and then with the available energy, we will be able to create wealth from our resources. And if we can be able to craft a more inclusive uh, 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 development, we'll be on the road uh, uh, you know, to where we would like uh, us to be and where you want us to be yourselves. These assets have been seen by uh, uh, some of the people in this room. Uh, you know, my ambassador has seen it. Uh, Sherry has uh, seen it. Uh, and uh, uh, Toge has seen it. They were all happy with uh, where it is and how is it to be developed. Uh, all what is needed is uh, the, the continued uh, uh, thrust that we are putting in and obviously uh, uh, the shareholder support uh, you know, to our, to, our, to, our, to, to, our, to our partners. Thank you very much. <laughs>